<laughs> All right, just chatting here with Representative Bradley Byrne. Welcome back to Fox News at 4. Local and state leaders have a lot on their plate for 2018. For one, the future of all kids health insurance program. Also, what it's going to be like to have a Democrat representing Alabama in the Senate. And after so many years with two GOP senators. Plus, what about red snapper fishing? The season was extended in 2017. Will that happen this go around? So, as I mentioned, a lot to discuss. And I've got just the person here to talk about it with us and what's ahead for the Gulf Coast. Thank you so much for coming Good in. Good to be here. Thank you. We were, we were chatting there in the commercial break about a special event for your family. Yeah, my daughter Laura's gotten engaged. Aw, congratulations. Yeah. So, want to talk off first about all kids because recently it was, you know, extended, so people don't have to worry about right. their insurance for kids. Right. This is a program that covers 85,000 children in Alabama. They're mainly children whose parents are working, but they don't make enough money to be able to make ends meet, particularly on health care. This is an important program. It's got really good, strong bipartisan support. Mm -hmm. So I'm not worried about the program. Mm -hmm. I wish we hadn't waited so long. I wish we didn't have people in sort of this limbo. But I think that we'll get it solved permanently this month, and I think that we'll be able to all be uh, settled back about that and not worry about it. It has very strong bipartisan support, so we'll keep that program. All right, and of course, the president's main concern is infrastructure, right. and that's something you know Alabama can directly relate to as well. Yeah, I, I think our I-10 bridge project will be one of the premier parts of the president's infrastructure program. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to see us also working with him on some things that will be helpful to our port here in Mobile, because that's infrastructure as well. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to be big beneficiaries of his plan, and I think that plan's going to have a lot of bipartisan support. So I'm looking forward to working on that. I was going to ask you, how quickly do you think something like that can be moved through, given the, the makeup now? Well, if you have bipartisan support for something, you can move fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. now, Things in Washington don't move really quickly no matter what, but the president has to come forward with the plan. Obviously, committees in both houses of Congress have to go through it. We have to develop our legislation. But unlike some of the legislation you saw last year where it was pretty big partisanship, I don't think you're going to see that in the infrastructure bill. Okay. You mentioned in that answer there about the ports, and, you know, there was a, a recent deal that was announced for littoral combat ships that affects Mobile directly. Yeah. Uh, we, we got another one uh, contracted for here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a really good program moving forward with that, with that program. They've actually started the production, by the way, on the USS Mobile. Mm -hmm that will be built here and, and will be christening in the next uh, year or two. So there's a lot of good things happening at that shipyard. But the Navy's going through a transition, and part of it's very good, because we're trying to build a lot more ships. And I think Mobile is very well positioned to be a part of that program. I want to talk about Red Snapper. Yeah. It was extended last year. Yeah. I mean, that is a political hot potato whenever you bring that up. Yeah. And it's something that you've been very passionate yeah. and outspoken about as well. Yeah. Well, it's, it's important to a lot of people down mm -hmm. here like me who like to fish. But it's also important to our economy. So we worked with the Secretary of Commerce, the new Secretary of Commerce, who's very helpful. We got a good plan for last summer, but we immediately started working on the plan for this summer and the summer after that, because you can't just sort of go from summer to summer. We've got to have a little bit longer term fix. We think we've got that worked out now, or we're in the process of working that out now with the Department of Commerce, and I think we're going to have another good snapper season. Good, because that's what our local fishermen like to mm -hmm. hear. And we also mentioned, you know, the fact that we have a Democratic uh, senator now. Do you think that that's going to make a, a huge difference in terms of how things get done? I don't think it'll make a huge difference. I've known Doug Jones a long time. He's a good guy. He was a heck of a great prosecutor. He and I are in different parties and have different political philosophies. But when it comes to working on things for the state of Alabama, that doesn't have anything to do with what we do as a delegation. We work together across party lines. So I look forward to working with Doug in his new role. He'll be sworn in tomorrow. He and I work together on things that are important to this part of the state of Alabama. All right, and we have a huge amount of things. Well, we, I mean you, have a lot on your plate yeah. in terms of what's going to get accomplished. But of course, what I really want to know is about your 2018 resolution. My 2018 resolution is to take a little more time to stop and be quiet. Because okay. we spend so much time in Congress, you're just going, 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 yeah. going. And uh, I miss the time that I used to have at the beginning of my day where I had some quiet time, mm -hmm. sort of collect myself and make sure that I know who I am and where I'm trying to go. There you go. And I lost that a little bit this past year because we were so busy, and I want to try to get that back. So I'm going to try to get my quiet time, some reflective time, some time for me to spend time in Scripture and prayer, very important to me. Mm -hmm. And I think that will make me a better person, a better congressman. 
Good. Yeah. And on that note, better Congressman, you're not going anywhere, right? You're not no, going to run again. I'm, I'm running again this year. Okay. I made it very clear we're running. Uh, you know, the primaries are in the first week in June, and mm -hmm. then we have the general election in November. Uh, we want to wait through the holidays and get through that, but we'll kick off our campaign pretty soon here, and we'll get going. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. We covered a lot here. Appreciate your time. Sure. And we're going to have this information posted for you on our website, foxntv.com, so you can watch with someone you know or share it, so look for it shortly on fox10tv.com. Thanks again. Thank you.